Hi, in this video we are going to test our application, so let's get started. I'm just going to have several vertices, vertex 1 is equal to a new vertex with 1. Okay, I'm just going to create 5 more of them, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So we have the vertex 2, vertex 3, vertex 4, vertex 5 and vertex 6. We are going to add the neighbors, vertex 1, add the neighbor for example vertex 2. I'm going to copy and paste it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times, okay. The vertex 2 is going to be added the neighbor vertex 3. Then the vertex 3 is going to be added the neighbor vertex 1, as you can see there's a cycle. Then the vertex 4 is going to have two neighbors, the vertex 1 and the vertex 5. Okay, let's suppose the fact that we are not going to have two cycles at the beginning. So the 1 is going to have the neighbor 2, the 1 is going to have the neighbor 3. And the 2 is going to have the neighbor 3, so there's not going to be a cycle. Then the vertex 5 is going to have the vertex 6 as a neighbor, and the vertex 6 is going to have the vertex 4 as the neighbor. So this is the graph we would like to simulate. The 1 has the 2 neighbors, 2 and 3, 2 has a single neighbor, 3, 4 has 2 neighbors, 5 and 1. 5 has one neighbor 6, 6 has a single neighbor 4, as you can see here the cycle 4, 5, 6, 4 is a directed cycle, there's no cycle in this subgraph, so this is what we have been developing, the 4 has the 1 and the 5, 5 the 6, 6 the 4, okay I think that is going to be just fine, we just have to add these vertices into a list, for example vertex list is equal to a new array list. Okay, let's import the java.util.list and vertex list dot odd for example vertex1. Of course we have to add all of the vertices into the vertex list. So vertex 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So we just have to instantiate this cycle detection class with the name cycle detection is equal to a new cycle detection. And we just have to call the detect cycles with the vertex list method. Okay, so let's run it and because we have several system out print LAN, that's why it's going to be several logs basically. So let's run it as a Java application. As you can see, there is going to be a cycle, so there's a backward edge, so there's a cycle. But what's happening? That first search on vertex 1, then visiting the neighbor of vertex 1, which is the vertex 2. So visiting the vertex 2 recursively. So we depth first search on vertex 2. We visit the neighbors of vertex 2, and then we visiting vertex 3 recursively. So we depth first search on vertex 3. What's happening? We start at vertex 1. We come to the conclusion that there's the vertex 2 as the neighbor of vertex 1. Okay, then we keep visiting recursively its neighbors. So we have the vertex 3. In this case, the vertex 1 is not visited, but it is being visited. So the set being visited true has been called. The vertex 2 hasn't been visited, but it is being visited. The vertex 3 is being visited and so on, so that's why there's a difference between whether this node has been visited or it is being visited or not. Okay, then we set the vertex 3 set visited false and visited true. Why? Because we just want to visit all the neighbors of the 3 but it doesn't have any neighbors. So we set it to be visited and set being visited to be false because we have already done with that given node. So we just have to backtrack and we come to the conclusion that there's no unvisited neighbor for the vertex 2. Then we visiting the neighbors of vertex 1 but we have come to the conclusion that the vertex 1 doesn't have any unvisited children. 
So we set vertex 1, set being visited false and visited true. Then we depth first search on vertex 4, that's going to be the cycle. We're visiting the neighbors of vertex 4. As you can see the vertex 4 has two children, the 1 and the 5. So that's why this visiting the neighbors of vertex 4 is going to be printed out twice. Visiting vertex 5 recursively. Depth first search on vertex 5. Visiting the neighbors of vertex 5 and the vertex 6 recursively. And because we're visiting the neighbors of vertex 6 and there's a backward edge to vertex 5, there's a backward edge, so there's a cycle. And then we said visited false for the vertex 5 and the vertex 4 and so on. Let's suppose the fact that we are going to have two cycles in that given graph. This is why this implementation is quite good. It is able to detect more than one cycles. So this is the situation we are considering. There's a directed cycle here, 1, 2, 3, 1, and another cycle, 4, 5, 6, 4. So there are two cycles in this graph. We just have to update the code accordingly because the 1, vertex 2, vertex 2, vertex 3, vertex 3, vertex 1. Okay, let's see whether it's going to work fine or not. And as you can see, it's detected a first cycle and there's the second cycle. Let's suppose the fact that there's not going to be any cycles. So the vertex 1, vertex 2, vertex 2, vertex 3, and there's no edge from vertex 3 to vertex 1, but for example vertex 1 to vertex 3. And there's not going to be a cycle, so vertex 4, vertex 5, vertex 5, vertex 6, and for example there's not going to be an edge between vertex 6 and vertex 4, which means that there is no cycles in that given graph. Let's see whether it's going to work fine or not. We just have to visit the nodes in a depth first manner, but as you can see, there is no cycles found in that given graph. And basically, it is fine because there is no cycle in that given graph. So that's all about the cycle detection. Thanks for watching.